For the first time in America East history, the men's and women's basketball championships will be held on the same weekend in the same city. Join your team at the 2010 America East Men's and Women's Basketball Championship presented by Newman's Own. Tickets are on sale now. Call 860-768-HAWK or visit AmericaEast.com. We're back at BU on America East on campus. Now a look at the women's tournament that's coming up very quickly at the University of Hartford. The Hartford women broke into the top 25 this season, as did the University of Vermont. Who will come out on top at the America East Championship? Here's AETV analyst Leah Secondo with her preview. First of all, Hartford seems like a team on a mission after getting knocked out in the semifinals last year. I think the one difference from last year's team to this year's team as far as putting the pieces together, they have better floor leadership, they have better locker room leadership, and it's a team that hasn't had that hiccup as they had last season with maybe a loss that they shouldn't have had in conference play. For them right now, they're on that roll. They're on the roll. They've done everything in their non-conference schedule and the regular season schedule to put themselves in position for the America East title for the tournament and for the NCAAs. You mentioned the leadership. It starts and really ends with Beverly and Delva, who have been fixtures here at Hartford. And, and I think that the way that they've carried themselves, not only during the season, but in the preseason and prepping these younger players and being a role model, not only on the court, but in the classroom, has really just flowed right on through with the team. Hartford made it into the top 25. Vermont made it into the top 25 mm -hmm. this year, but Vermont lost at BU. They lost at home to Hartford and this is going to come down to, unless there's two bids for this league this year, which there could very well be, it's going to come down to them playing well here in this building. I think that both of the pro both programs, even though Vermont had that hiccup after, for the first time in 17 years being ranked, that they both put themselves in a position with their RPI, strength of schedules, everything else, to get an NCAA bid. Both of them have played tough, tough non-conference schedules. They've beaten opponents they were supposed to beat along the way. And I think, I think, if I'm on the committee, Yes, you have to overlook what happened at BU. BU still has an outside opportunity if they don't come around and really surprise everybody and win the tournament to get a WNIT bid as well. Vermont specifically as a team with Pilipitis and Katsopolis, mm -hmm. that's been their mission and getting back to the NCAA tournament and, and playing better this year. And they have played very well. Great senior leadership. And I think there are times with Courtney, she is, Courtney Pilipitis has earned the right to get as much publicity as she does, but you have to talk about Makinsopolis and what she means to that team, what she means to that program consistently. You want the ball in May's hands just as you want in Courtney's hands. And, and you mentioned BU, is that your dark horse here? Here's a team that no one expected that much from outside of the, the folks on Com Ave, but what do you think of BU and their chances of pulling a surprise here? I, I think that when you have a young team like BU and they have felt success and when you feel success and you're youthful that's how you gain your confidence going through the tournament play they're fearless they're not fearful because they've never experienced this whole world. they're fearless right now and they are dark horse time for you to be fearless who are the four <laughs> semifinalists that we'll see here in Hartford we will see Vermont we will see Hartford we will see BU and we will be see UMBC Up next, in Best of You, College for Every Student is a program that is being supported by several schools in America East. Student athletes giving back to the community around them. We actually do this because we want to help these kids out and we know that there is a future for them. We want to make sure that they achieve what they want to achieve and that's, that's the main thing.